Have you ever wondered whether you were lazy or just really burnt out with what you're doing? Well, you're in luck. By the end of this video, you're going to know nine signs that you're just burned out and not lazy like everyone thinks. If you can pass all nine of these, it's safe to assume that you're just burnt out and not actually that lazy. So why are these tests so important? Understanding the differences between burnout and laziness can have a profound impact on your life and help you determine what course of action you need to take to fix your situation. Trust me, knowing the differences can be a game changer for your physical, intellectual, and emotional health. It's as easy as pie. Before we get into the nine specific signs, let's consider this key question. Is your lack of energy due to constant stress and overwhelming demands? Or is it simply a lack of motivation because you don't feel like doing it? Keep this overarching question in mind as we go through the following nine tests, as it can help you distinguish between burnout and laziness. Focus in here for just a few minutes. Here's the first test to see if you are physically burned out or just being lazy. Do you feel constantly fatigued? Do you always need to rest or sit down more than usual? Does this happen even after a full night's sleep? It's easy to think you're just being lazy, but in reality, you might be dealing with constant fatigue from burnout. You're not avoiding tasks because you don't want to do them. You're generally struggling to find the energy. Here's how to fix this. Ensure you get the right amount of quality sleep each night. Create a relaxing bedtime routine to help improve your sleep quality. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Mm, that's water, not coffee. Dehydration can contribute to feelings of fatigue. Eat a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains to fuel your body properly. Engage in regular physical activity. Even a short daily walk can help you boost your energy levels. Allow yourself to take regular breaks during your work to prevent overexertion. If constant fatigue is something you can relate to, let's move to another common yet overlooked sign that your body is crying out for help. Here's the second test. Are you feeling sick or unwell more than often? Are you experiencing constant colds? Frequent headaches. These all can indicate that burnout has weakened your immune system. Maybe you're using illness as an excuse to avoid work or responsibilities, but frequent illness can actually be a sign that your immune system is weakened by burnout. You're not lazy. It's just that your body is literally worn out from stress. Here's how to fix this. Boost your immune system. Consume foods rich in vitamin C and D, and consider taking a daily multivitamin to support your immune health. Practice stress-reducing activities such as meditation, deep breathing, exercises, or yoga to help lower your stress levels. Stay active. Regular physical activity can strengthen your immune system and help your body fight off illnesses. Maintain hygiene. Wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your face to reduce the risk of infections. If you are frequently ill, consult with a healthcare provider to rule out any underlying conditions and get personalized advice. If constant illness is something you've been battling, let's take a step further and look at another crucial aspect of physical burnout that can be mistaken for laziness. Here's the third test. Do you lack physical energy or stamina, feeling lethargic and unmotivated, even for simple tasks? You might feel like you just don't care or have the drive to get things done. This lack of physical energy can be a clear sign of burnout. You're not choosing to be inactive and lazy. Your body is exhausted and needs rest. Here's how to fix this. Establish a constant sleep schedule, avoid screens before bed, and create a restful sleep environment. Eat nutrient-dense foods. Focus on foods that provide sustained energy, such as whole grains, lean proteins, fruits, and vegetables. Ensure you're drinking enough water throughout the day to keep your energy levels up. We've heard this before. Incorporate light exercise. Gentle activities like stretching, yoga, or short walks can help boost your energy without overexertion. Avoid relying on caffeine and sugary drinks for energy, as they can lead to crashes and further exhaustion. Now that we've covered the physical signs of burnout, let's shift our focus to how burnout can affect you intellectually. The next three tests will help you identify if you're experiencing mental exhaustion rather than laziness. Here's the fourth test. Are you struggling to concentrate or are easily distracted? This could be mental fatigue from burnout, not laziness. It's tempting to think you're just being lazy or careless, but in reality, there might be more to it. You could be struggling with mental fatigue from burnout. If you're not purposefully ignoring tasks and just forgetting about them, it could be that your brain is simply too exhausted to concentrate. Here's how to fix this. Take regular breaks. Use techniques like the Pomodoro method to give your brain regular rest periods. Reduce multitasking. Focus on one task at a time to improve concentration and reduce cognitive overload. Create a distraction-free environment. 
Eliminate potential distractions by setting up a quiet workspace and turning off notifications. Practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness or meditation exercises to help improve focus and mental clarity. Get adequate rest. Ensure you're getting enough sleep each night to allow your brain to recover and function optimally. If concentration and focus are slipping away from you, it's time to look at another intellectual challenge that might be mistaken for laziness. Here's the fifth test. Do you find it difficult to solve basic problems, showing a lack of interest in tackling issues or generating new ideas? It might feel like you're not trying hard enough or have a lack of ambition, but this indifference can actually be a sign of mental exhaustion, which means you're not lazy. It's just that your mind is overloaded and needs a break. Here's how to fix this. Take mental breaks. Schedule regular breaks throughout your day to give your mind a chance to rest. Engage in creative activities. Try activities that stimulate creativity and problem solving in a low pressure environment, like drawing or puzzles. If possible, delegate some of your tasks to lighten your mental load and reduce stress. Practice relaxation techniques. Techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or progressive muscle relaxation can help alleviate mental fatigue. Seek support. Talk to a colleague, friend, or mentor to gain new perspectives and support for problem solving. If solving problems feels like a mountain you can't climb, you might also find your creative spark dimming. Let's look at how burnout can impact your creativity with a sixth test. Do you have creator's block where your creative spark is faded and you're not generating new ideas like you used to? This might come across as a lack of effort or enthusiasm. However, decreased creativity is often a symptom of intellectual burnout. You're not avoiding creativity or are lazy. It's just that your mental energy is depleted. Here's how to fix this. Take creative breaks. Allow yourself time to engage in relaxing creative activities without pressure, such as doodling, listening to music, or exploring nature. A change of scenery can stimulate new ideas. Try working in a different location or rearranging your workspace. Limit screen time. Reducing time spent on screens can help refresh your mind and boost creativity. Expose yourself to new experiences and learning opportunities to reignite your creative spark. Rest and recharge. Ensure you're getting enough rest to restore your mental energy and creativity. Now that we've examined how burnout can impact you physically and mentally, there's another crucial aspect to consider, your emotional well-being. The final three tests will help you determine if you're experiencing emotional burnout rather than simply being unmotivated. Here's the seventh test. Are you lacking the motivation or not as interested in activities you used to enjoy or struggling to start new tasks? It's easy to think you're just being lazy or unmotivated. But in reality, this loss of motivation can be a symptom of emotional burnout. You're not avoiding work or fun because you don't care. It's just that you're emotionally drained and need to recharge. Here's how to fix this. Set small goals. Break tasks into smaller, manageable steps to make them less overwhelming and more achievable. Practice self-care. Engage in activities that you enjoy and that help you relax, such as reading, taking a bath, or spending time in nature. Spend time doing things you're passionate about to reignite your interest and motivation. Connect with friends, family, or support groups to talk about your feelings and gain encouragement. Allow yourself to take breaks and rest without guilt, understanding that this time is necessary for recharging emotionally. If you've noticed a dip in your motivation, it's also worth considering how your empathy levels are holding up. Let's explore the next sign of emotional burnout with the eighth test. Do you have reduced empathy, seeming less caring or responsive to others' emotions? It might look like you're being lazy and maintaining your relationships. However, reduced empathy can be a sign of emotional burnout. You're not indifferent, you're emotionally overloaded and need time to recover. Here's how to fix this. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself and recognize it's okay to take a step back when you're feeling overwhelmed. Reduce exposure to emotionally draining situations or the news media to give yourself a break. Engage in mindfulness activities. Practices like meditation and deep breathing can help you stay present and manage emotional overload. Consider talking to a therapist or a counselor who can provide strategies to manage emotional burnout. Start by reconnecting with close friends or family members in low pressure settings to rebuild your empathy gradually. If empathy has taken a back seat, let's address another emotional aspect that can be easily understood, irritability. Irritability can be more than just a bad mood. It might be a sign of deeper emotional exhaustion. Here's the ninth and final test. Are you increasingly irritable, snapping at people more easily, or getting frustrated over minor things? It's tempting to think you're just being difficult or lazy in managing your emotions. 
However, this irritability is often a symptom of emotional burnout. You're not choosing to be irritable. Instead, you're struggling with emotional strain. Here's how to fix this. Practice relaxation techniques. Engage in activities like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga to help manage stress and reduce irritability. Identify triggers. Pay attention to what situations or tasks make you irritable and try to address or avoid these triggers when possible. Get regular exercise. Physical activity can help reduce stress and improve your mood, making you less prone to irritability. Ensure adequate sleep. Lack of sleep can exacerbate irritability, so make sure you're getting enough rest each night. Talk it out. Share your feelings with a trusted friend, family member, or therapist to gain perspective and emotional support. You can also leave a comment where we can all help each other together. As you can see, burnout is complex and multifaceted and can easily be mistaken for laziness. If you or someone you know is showing any of these signs, check out my courses on how to avoid physical, intellectual, and emotional burnout. The link is in the description. Now that you understand the signs of burnout, it's time to take action. Your well-being is at stake. Remember, every moment counts. For more powerful, actionable strategies that can help you reclaim your energy and break free from burnout, click on the video appearing on your screen right now. Don't let another day slip by feeling drained and overwhelmed. It could be the first steps towards transforming your life and rediscovering your passion. Remember, you may not be lazy, just battling burnout. Let's avoid it together, starting right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.